Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy that you, are, you have joined us for this service, and uh, we just welcome you. I'm Muriel Wookie, and uh, I'm one of the seniors in the church, and it's just a real pl pleasure to be here with you this morning. I would like you to take your Bibles and turn to Psalm 98. I'm reading from the Living Bible this morning. And this is what it says. Sing a new song to the Lord, telling about his mighty deeds. For he has won a mighty victory by his power and holiness. He has announced this victory and revealed it to every nation by fulfilling his promise to be kind to Israel. The whole earth has seen God's salvation of his people. That is why the earth breaks out in praise to God and sings for utter joy. Sing your praise accompanied by music from the harp. Let the cornets and trumpets shout. Make a joyful symphony, all its vastness roar with praise. Let the earth and all those living in it shout glory to the Lord. Let the waves clap their hands in glee and the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the world with perfect justice. May God bless his, this word to each one of our hearts. Now I'd like to lead you in prayer. Loving Father, this morning as I bow in your presence, I just want to thank you for this beautiful day. This is your day. And you are a faithful God, and I thank you for that. Father, this morning we would remember all of those in authority over us because you have asked us to pray for those in authority. And so we would pray, dear God, for our Prime Minister. Father, please give him guidance and wisdom. And I ask that you would also be with all the other Premiers and those who are looking after all the health issues in our country at this time. Father, please give an enlightenment to each one of them. And Father, I do thank you for your word, and I thank you for the fact that we can sing praises to your name. I'm reminded of that old hymn, It Took a Miracle. And Father, it did take a miracle to hang the stars in place. It took a miracle to hang the world in space. But when he saved my soul and, and made it whole, it took a miracle of love and grace. Father, that, that was a real miracle. The day that you gave your life for me. And Father, I want to thank you for that. God, I just thank you today that there's nothing that touches us that you are not aware of. And Father, I just pray that if there are those who are sitting in their homes today and they're discouraged or they need a hand from you, Father, I just pray that you would be very close to them. Father, you know each one of us by name. And you've even written our names in the palm of your hand. And Father, we thank you that, that you can just be with us. If we're discouraged, you have said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And you've given us so many wonderful promises. You are the good shepherd who leads us and guides us. And I just pray for the whole church family that God will care for each one of you. And Father, I just pray that you would be, with, be very close to each one. Mm -hmm. Help them to trust you, Father, for every need. I pray that you would be with all the leaders of our church, for the pastor and, and all the other workers, that you would just supply all of their needs and pray that you would use them in your ministry. Father, pray that you would bless the pastor now as he brings us a message for the day. Pray that you will have an open heart to receive whatever he has for us. In your name, I pray. Amen.